Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Nublar's Next Top Mod on Gaming with Shoggoths. Uh, we're jumping right into it today. We've got several mods to show off. Uh, some will be quicker than others, but first we've got this helicopter mod by Dino Army 4, and it is made to resemble the JPOG helicopter. It's very cool. It comes in two varieties. This green variety and then a darker variety. I'm assuming it's more black. I honestly didn't look at the pictures, but I will show that one off in another episode. You can only use one or the other at a time. I am not going to fly this helicopter around very much because flying in the helicopter makes me very nauseous. Which is weird because it is a third person view and that doesn't usually get to me. But, you know, it is what it is. So this is the other side. Get it up a little, up, up, up. It's a very nice mod, I like it. It just adds that nice little extra touch to the game so you can, you know, change things up a little bit. I was gonna fly over, oh god, I was gonna fly over in the helicopter so we can take a look at one of the other mods, but I think I'm just gonna let it go. My head's already bothering me a little bit. <laughs> I don't know why it bugs me so much, but it does. Uh, so in here somewhere we already have running around um, is Petito 777's Protoceratops mod which goes onto the goat feeder um, this is not a new mod I, I've used it a bunch you guys have seen it a bunch but it did get a recent update alright so that let's just put it on pause for a second this is the new updated version it is still adorable as it always has been and that quite frankly is the reason why I use it because <laughs> it is cute I have a video if you want to check it out about different ways that you can utilize this mod other than just feeding it to your dinosaur there we are we'll let these guys run around again they're quite cute and I thought it was cool that Petito updated them a little bit Although, either way, I enjoyed them, just because they are another different little addition to your park. Alright, our next mod is also an update, and it is a update to the Packy, the Packy Rhinosaurus by Harlequin's Ego. If, as I'm sure you know by now, the Packy Rhinosaurus is an addition to the game. It's its own file, so it, um, it does not replace the dinosaur, and we already... We've already gone over that before, but when it first released, it did not have its own sounds. So whenever it would roar or anything like that, there was just silence. But now it has been updated, so we'll check out the sounds it makes. Still a great looking model. No skin, no other skin colors yet, but maybe in the future. So oh, there we go. Backy Rhinosaurus is no longer voiceless. And that is super cool. Alright, our next dinosaur out of the gate is the Torvosaurus. Awesome. Looks totally awesome. This is a mod, another mod by Harlequin Zigo, and it used to replace the Allosaurus, but now it is its own file, just like the Pachyrhinosaurus, who, which is also, as we know, another Harlequin Zigo mod. It's a great looking dinosaur. I'm glad to see it is its own file now, because I do love the Allosaurus and hate replacing it. <laughs> um, this is a beautiful model. It, it has a voice already, so that's cool. Looks like they've got that the vocal thing figured out. They It does not have skins yet, just like the Pachyrhinosaurus, so maybe that'll be something in the future. But if not, I really enjoy the skin. It looks really cool. It's very nice. And this is a very nice mod. I really dig it. Alright, our next mod is a mod by Kuru0007 and it is based on the Micro Serratus from the Jurassic Park novel. It is an adorable 
chunky little dinosaur. I love it. Here you go. I, I really love the the homolocephalus mo or model, like the original. It's great too. So sometimes I'm really sad to see it like replaced with dinosaurs, but at the same time, I do like variety, as we all know. So it is nice to change things up. You know, the, the little taco is an adorable little mod, and now we've got this thing, and it is cute too. Look at that little tail wagging. I love it. Check out the other scout. Oh, looks like the looks like the mod from from back a little bit. Kinda doesn't want to show up. Let's see. Yeah, hmm. <laughs> Zoom in, yeah, there we go. <laughs> I've seen that happen before. I think it was on a uh I wanna say oh whoops. It's like having a identity crisis, it would appear. Uh, what did I see it on? I want to say it was on the Pachycephalosaurus or something like that. Like, I've seen that happening, too. I'll have to let the modder know. I don't know if that's something they can fix or not. It's still cute, regardless of whether or not it's doing that. Check out the other skins. Oh, that one's really cute, too. And this savanna grass is oh, perfect for it to blend into. I'm going to have to remember that skin pattern for my savanna park. This guy is cute too. I can't tell if... I'm not sure if it's just because I'm not zoomed in close enough or what, but... The sounds are not happening. Maybe this mod is just a little glitchy. There we go. Okay, so it's just... It's just the game. Sometimes when you're not zoomed in enough, you don't hear all the sounds. <laughs> it is an adorable little mod. Even if you can't quite tell because this grass is just obscuring it completely. Oh, there goes the head again. Yeah, it kind of just seems like it, depending on your distance. And I honestly don't know if that's a fixable thing or not. It doesn't happen with everything, though, so maybe it is? Let's get closer and I'm gonna oh, see what's happening again. That is, that is, <laughs> it's like the poor thing is like, I don't know what I am! <laughs> it is adorable, though. Either way. Alright, and uh, the last mod for this showcase is a Euopolycephalus. It is uh, edited for paleo accuracy by Antiquus. And I, uh, I have actually seen this one before. I made another video. Um, and then uh, decided to do these kind of showcases. So. Uh, that video got scrapped because it was just the off cephalus. Um, so I have seen them all already. And uh, they, it's awesome. I really like this mod. Like, this might be one of my favorite herbivore mods. Um, among the many edits that they made, they uh, reduced the weight and chunkiness. They uh, lengthened the legs, shortened the tail, lengthened the neck, I believe. Um, and to me, it just gives it an overall better look. The skins look great. Um, it's just super, super cool. Check out some of the other skins. Looks really nice too. And I'll be perfectly honest, I barely ever play with the office of this, so I don't know if these are even the original skins or not, but if they're not, they are quite awesome. If they are, then they're some of the better skins in the game. <laughs> if, if they are, if these are actually the base skins. It's a very nice green one. This one and the last one end up being my favorite skins. Uh, they are quite nice. I like them. Especially the last one. The last one's kind of like a white creamy color and that's just not really a dinosaur color that we get in this game at all with mods or, or base. So it's very nice. I love the eye. It's very very soulful that I yeah this is this is probably my favorite skin on this model very very nice but it's just a nice looking group of dinosaurs that can that uh, are on this mod 
this is definitely going to make me use this guy more often. Um, I really just was never a huge fan of the Ophicephalus. Oh, sorry, I'm terrible at pronouncing its name, but I like it. I like it now. It's higher off the ground, a little less chunky. It just looked awkward and kind of bumbly before, but now I think it looks much more elegant. Nice herd right there. Really nice skins. I really like them. All right, well that is going to do it for this episode of Nublar's Next Top Mod. We definitely are going to have some more in the future. Um, the modders seem to be, uh, you know, coming out with tons of new mods day after day. So I'm sure I will be back with more mods real soon. If you enjoyed this, please do leave a like, subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll be back with more Jurassic World Evolution mods. Until then, have a good one.